the official terminology in Olympic boxing when a fight is stopped. RSC, referee stops contact. Trying to work to the inside is Lewis Howard. Zirkin with a caution to Breland. As you can see, the quick-handed Breland throwing punches may be 5-1, to one, may be 8-1 to one over the smaller Howard. Notice the way he got out of range there. Off the ropes, went to his right. I can tell you right now that Freeland learned a lot in defeating Luciano Bruno of Italy in Los Angeles some six weeks ago. Because then he just came out loading up, loading up, loading up, and the unorthodox and wild fighter gave him all kinds of trouble and made him look awkward, even bad. But not now, today. He's taking his time. He's fighting his fight. He shows more than a touch of class because of the splendid training and teaching he has received and the confidences he has developed over winning five golden gloves unprecedentedly nationally and three world championships. This, ladies and gentlemen, has the look of an athlete. He's also got a personality, extroverted now, having gravitated as he did from the ghetto area of Brooklyn through different social stratums, as so many others have done before him. So Mark Greenland is putting on a show. Sirkin, the referee, hovering closely over the proceedings. And we are down inside the 22nd mark of round two. A clearly compelling boxing round for Mark Breland. Mark is doing what he wants to do. He is doing it his way. Bell for round three. A confident Emmanuel Stewart in the corner over Breland. You're doing it just right, son, he told him. And so he is. We're in the third round. Nice moves, eh? You talk about quick feet, quick hands. You talk about boys flicking that left, keeping the smaller man utterly at bay, then switching to the right, then that quick combination. It is a lesson in boxing basics from a young kid, just 19. Oh, look at those. Let me tell you. He is not looking for the knockout because his knockout power manifested itself in the knockout of Watkins just a couple of nights ago. What a blow. just making certain of the victory and being cautious that's the way to win in Olympic boxing sometimes you get a Leon Sphinx would like to alert our stations now that we'll be going to them at the end of this round our stations along the line but in the meantime watching Mark Breland like watching milk and honey this kid is a fighter Howard trying desperately to assume a brief role of aggressor but not very convincing at it nor smooth at it 
and look at Mark, still on his toes, still moving, just picking his spots, throwing his punches, scoring steadily, relentlessly. <laughs> Maybe, as I said, the Sugar Ray Leonard of the Montreal Olympics. Maybe that's what Breland will be in the forthcoming boxing competition in the L.A. Olympics. Will be 5,000 meters. A great one, originally from South Africa, his story off told. Right now, the decision. Here is the decision for bout number 11. In the blue corner goes to Mark Breland. Surprise, surprise. Five to nothing in the scoring. Now admitting, taking cognizance.